Hi Tristan, hi Ali, and the Signal editorial staff and whoever this may concern. Uh, my name is Andre Peras, and I am a Communication Studies Arts Comm major here at TCNJ. So far, my involvement with the Signal includes being a staff writer for the Arts and Entertainment section, while also being a staff photographer for the multimedia team. Uh, so far, I have 22 photos on articles and 10 bylines or articles written for the Arts and Entertainment section. The position I'm applying for is the Signal's new video editor position. I think it's worth noting that before my time at TCNJ, I spent four years and graduated from my high school's video film program. Uh, so I spent a lot of time directing and creating short films, editing documentaries and short films alike, and creating short videos for social media, and yeah, even ones that have entered into film festivals and have won and shown great results. Speaking of short films, I wanted to talk about how a key experience in high school with them led me to be an effective leader today. So to give you context, this festival is called the All-American High School Film Festival, the world's biggest high school film circuit located in New York City. They have an invitational competition that my high school attends every year. In my senior year, my teacher chose me to direct and produce the film, a big responsibility that has never been done before by one person. With all of this and a time to film environment, obviously there's a lot of stress, a lot of preparing, lots of resources to have before you enter the city. And I was in charge of all of those things while also in the city directing professional actors, assisting the director of photography, having a big say in edit of the film and all the other crews such as sound, makeup, all of that jazz. So I have experience behind professional set environments. I spent many tireless nights working with the editor of the film to reach the perfect final product. And after all that was said and done, it was judged and it was screened at the world's biggest and busiest AMC Empire 25 in Times Square. After that, it was judged by professionals and at the awards night, it was fortunately rewarded uh, as a top 10 finalist. So I take that as a pretty big accomplishment. Not only did we battle schools from across the world, we were able to come out with results as a small school from New Jersey. I saw this experience as a great learning experience, but also a good testament to my leadership. I think I'm able to command a big crew, especially in a chaotic environment, but also do so in a timed manner. Now with the signal, I know being an editor, there comes a lot of deadlines and important dates to meet. And I think I can have a good product at a good turnaround. For new ideas for the signal, as someone who is a staff photographer for the multimedia section, I think there can be a team of staff videographers um, in order to capture the most events here on campus while still being able to document them all. And it's not just one single person like me or whoever the video editor is to run all of that. If we wanna capture more student attention on campus, I think uh, reels are a great resource. Um, one great example is the Neon Trees Reel recap that was made uh, for the Cub Fall concert. And I think we could do more things Things like this, more short form vertical content. Instagram even favors this and social media apps are starting to favor more videos in general as opposed to posts. Along with these short term videos, I would also love to create documentary style content for The Signal, some more horizontal video like this with interviews from staff members, students, and just get a bigger understanding and a more genuine feel for people on campus and their opinions. All right, getting the job done. I think um, so far on this campus, I've been, I've been trying to attend any event possible and just getting more photography opportunities. I've been to almost every football game this season and I think I could do the same with videography, with sports, capture more news style content. Now you're probably thinking, how can we make this happen? Well, as I mentioned before, a, having a team of staff videographers to delegate to different places would definitely be helpful. For capturing the more professional content, I have my own camera that I use as a photographer here on campus. As a video editor and photographer, I have access to the Adobe Cloud personally, so I can edit videos on Adobe Premiere Pro. But also if we need more short turnaround videos, I have CapCut skills and I can get things done there too for more iPhone or casual vertical content. Lastly, I just wanted to talk about how I'll be willing and dedicated to go film any event I can whenever I'm free. I've filmed the TCNJ dance team, TCNJ cheer without any obligation to do so. And so with an incentive from the signal, I would easily be able to get out there myself whenever needed if anybody can't make an event. Where I can grow in this video editor position is having to return videos, which I assume to be every week or on a consistent basis. Obviously I've had big projects and things turn around in a big date, but um, with multiple at the same time, I want to be able to turn out quality projects in a set amount of time while also balancing that with college life and work. 
I also think shooting videos around campus will help me build meaningful connections with people and help me learn more about organizations, significant staff, and other people, the student body as a whole here at TCNJ. As I've said before, I'm only a freshman and I would just love to get my feet wet more and discover what it is like to be an editor for one of the campus's biggest organizations. Aside from the video editor position at The Signal, my second choice would go to the arts and entertainment editor position. I have the most experience there as I've written as a staff writer my whole semester so far. Even before college began, I've been writing a lot about music, movies, and I can easily go to TCNJ campus events. And of course, I would love to learn more as a section editor and believe I have enough experience to do so. Some last things I think you should know are that I'm an award-winning documentarian, video editor, and just have surrounded myself in the arts my whole life. This one goes to the making of a better man, editor Andre Paris. No matter if I'm chosen to be a video editor or arts and entertainment section editor for The Signal or not, um, I just love the art so much. Um, I write about it all the time. I love creating, putting myself out there, discovering new things, and I would love to do that for The Signal in any capacity, whether that's as a staff writer, an editor. Um, but I just think it's something that I naturally love and am willing to do. And I think that's why that'll make me a responsible leader in this position, but also someone who can get things done on time and with a good quality. So with all this, if you would like to see videos I've edited or filmed, uh, I will leave below a list of resources, my own demo reel, so you can see all that professional content below, and also some more casual short form videos, um, just to see and get an idea with what you'd expect for this signal. Thank you so much, and I hope to be in your consideration. Have a good day.